everybody and today's video is going to be on how to clean a hamster cage. It's important that you clean your hamster's cage rather often so that they don't smell and so that your hamster is healthy and happy. I am going to be using Misty Zoo Zone 1 as an example. If you have a cage with levels and tubes then all you need to do is soak the levels and tubes but the method is exactly the same. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments make sure you comment down below. What will you need? You'll need some disinfectant to wipe down the surfaces. You'll also need a carrier bag or dustbin bag so that you can put all the dirty bedding. You'll need some kitchen roll to wipe down surfaces and some tissue for either bedding or to wipe down surfaces as well. You can shred it up and it makes a great bedding. And you also need a suitable bedding such as fit, which is what I'm using. Bedding you choose, make sure it's nice, snug and cosy and it will be a good substrate for your hamsters. It's important while cleaning your hamster's cage out that your hamster has a place to go whilst you clean them out. A carrier, a playpen or the top of a cage is a great place. I like to use a carrier and I like to put my hamster in the carrier while they're sleeping in their little bed. Whilst the hamster is safely away, you need to take off anything on the outside so that you can lift off the lid. I take off the water bottle. You then want to unclip the sides just so that you can lift off the lid so that you can get to all the base. The zoo zone is a very easy cage to clean. You then want to start taking out toys. Remove any bedding that is stuck on them, any old food you just tip on there, or wheels and toys and chews. Make sure you search for any missing little chews that your hamster may have hidden. And then you then want to take your bedding and put it in a dirty bag so this can go in the bin. You'll end up with a clean base but you'll have a few corners with dirty bits. So this is where we get our disinfectant and we spray the corners to get rid of any bacteria. Remember your hamster is going to be living in this so it's got to be clean. Whilst the base is soaking it's a great time to clean your plastic and glass toys. Food bowls are a place where my hamster sometimes goes to the toilet in. Remember they're going to be eating out of this, so you've got to make sure it's clean. By using a bit of kitchen roll and disinfectant, we can easily wipe these clean so that they are safe and healthy for my hamster to use. The wheels are another great place that hamsters like to pee on. By giving it a good wipe, this can then reassure you that your hamster is now running on a clean surface. Then we can go back to the base and we can put a few layers of kitchen roll and wipe down the corners. This disinfectant does not need washing off and this is the Johnson's Clean and Safe so if you have this disinfectant there's no need to wash it off you just wipe it straight away. You should then end up with a great clean base and this is great for putting new bedding in for your hamster to enjoy. So then you get your substrate and I'm using Fitch right here and we're going to put it in the base and we're going to try and make sure we have quite a thick layer so make sure that you put plenty of it. Especially now it's winter we want to make sure that they have lots of bedding to snuggle and cosy in. I may be doing a video on how to keep your hamster warm in winter soon too. So once you've piled up all your bedding, you're going to start spreading it out so that your hamster can enjoy using all the bedding in every single place of their cage. So you keep adding more and spreading it out until you have a really nice thick layer. Some hamsters like to borrow too, so this extra thick layer gives them the choice of borrowing if they want to. I really really recommend this Fitch bedding from Amazon so if you're looking for a bedding this is the one to get. You're then going to start filling your hamster's cage with toys. I have a big box of toys and every week I change them up so that my hamster gets a varied amount of toys. This keeps them entertained. Remember they're stuck in their cage for quite a long time so you want to make sure that they're entertained with some fabulous toys. So you can then start setting up your hamster's cage. I always put the wheel in and a little rock so that they can file down their nails. A food bowl and water bowl is essential and a hidey house and toys are also essential. It's sometimes great to bury tunnels and stuff to make it all a lot more jolly. You can then add a water bottle onto the cage so that your hamster can access its water too. By filling up the bowl I find this reassures my hamster once they've had a clean cage so it always gives them quite a small meal to start with. 
once the cage is ready and cleaned, you can get your hamster. The little hut that Misty has been sleeping in, for this example, is the strawberry. After she's ventured out in her new cage, I will clean the strawberry. I don't like to clean it at first because I like her not to disturb her so that she can stay and sleep in there. Now she's ventured out, I'll go and clean her strawberry house. When your hamster gets into their new clean cage, they tend to um, be very curious and sniff around quite a bit to check that if they know their surroundings. So now your hamster should have a nice clean cage and I'm sure they'll be very thankful for it. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and maybe subscribe. Bye!